Newark, the Devils play their final game of October on Saturday, and their eighth win in 10 games put them at the top of the Metropolitan Division standings for the time being. The Devils completed a sweep of their third back-to-back -back of the season off the play of Taylor Hall and Jesper Bratt, while the team pushed through a game without Marcus Johansson and Kyle Palmieri for a 4-3 victory. Washington Capitals v New Jersey Devils Bruce Bennett Getty Images Marcus Johansson's Injury Devils coach John Hines provided an update on what happened to Marcus Johansson during warm-ups that forced him to be a late scratch from Saturday's game. Hines said Johansson entered the 16-minute warm-up period fine before tweaking something in his lower body. There was nothing previous to warm-ups, he just tweaked something in the warm-up and didn't feel like, with the doctors, trainers and Marcus himself. There was no guarantee he'd be able to finish the game, Hines said. So it's a lower body and right now he's day-to-day. -day. It's not clear if Johansson will miss any more time. The Devils practice Monday after an off day on Sunday, and they depart for a trip to Western Canada following Monday's practice. Their next game is Wednesday in Vancouver. Bruce Bennett Getty Images Bratt's winning goal Jesper Bratt nearly recreated his first NHL goal when he scored the game-winning goal in the third period Saturday. He stationed himself near the right circle on the power play, where Taylor Hall hits him with a cross-ice pass. Bratt went for the one-timer on this shot, and he sent a laser into the back of the net. We had a good power play, Bratt said. We had it last game too, and this game it worked well. So got a great play from Halsey tried to hit a one-timer, luckily it went in. I think the special teams this game was fantastic. On a night where the Devils were missing two productive top six forwards in Johansson and Kyle Palmieri, Bratt delivered with three points, including assists on both of Hall's goals. The game marked Bratt's 10th in the NHL this season, meaning he is no longer eligible to be sent back to his junior team. Bratt celebrated in style with his play on Saturday. Just saw that their penalty killer got a little bit extended, and any time you can get the seam pass on a power play, it's going to be a good chance, Hall said of his pass to Brad for the winning goal. Credit to Will Butcher, credit to the guys in front getting the puck back. Ed Mulholland USA Today Sports. Schneider's return. Goalie Corey Schneider was back in the lineup after being activated from injured reserve early on Saturday. After Schneider missed Friday game following the birth of his daughter, Remy, he gave himself a quick skate in the morning, before giving coaches the thumbs up. Schneider gave up a few early goals, but he settled in to finish strong for the win. Talked to coach this morning, got on the ice quick, and asked me how I felt. I told him I didn't want to miss any more games, and that I felt good enough, Schneider said. The four penalties in the first period didn't really ease me into it, but I thought we did a good job killing them off. The third is probably the best I felt the whole game, so it was nice to get back and coming off an injury and little Remy there. Sometimes it's good to just jump back in and play, so it was good to do that tonight. Sluggish start. The four first period penalties highlighted a lackluster opening to the second leg of a back to back for the Devils and facing a winless Coyotes team, it was easy to see the desire and desperation for a win on the other bench. But the Devils gave up just one goal in the first period, and were able to grind it out before getting closer to their own game. We didn't play on our highest level the first period, Brad said. We were lucky Schneeds was on his level the first period, whole game. I think we came back a little bit at the end of the second period and third period but we found a way to win the game.